Hello, property can today we are going to discuss about uh, property flipping so what is the property flipping so this is a concept it is evolving concept uh, in india but it is very well established in overseas like us uk there are other countries it's very well established so i am going to discuss that today as a topic and we got a few uh, people coming to my office and talking about uh, this flipping and they are asking the properties with respect to the flipping as an investor so so that is the concept i am discussing and uh, i am putting in my playlist series of videos like uh, managed farmland plot investment apartment investment crowdfunding and uh, managed farmland mutual fund investment club so these are also there already in my playlist watch for those uh, lead uh, in investment avenues to understand better. So this is also one of the investment avenue. So I'm going to add this also in my playlist so that you will understand more about uh, property flipping. The property flipping. So today we are going to discuss about this topic and uh, the idea behind that is to get the high margin in a quick short period. How to flip the property, the concept behind that is what I'm discussing. And I'm discussing with respect to one example uh, as a plot flipping. Another one is, uh, you know, the flat flipping. So the two concepts I'm discussing. And this is just like a framework. And this can be leveraged into the other property types like uh, uh, about uh, industrial, commercial, agriculture properties also. It depends on individual skill level. So if you have more skills on industrial, yes, you can do that also. So this is mainly for a target audience who are property investor, tenants, NRI, OCI, HNI, and real estate enthusiasts. So these people are, uh, are able to understand and leverage this concept and try to play the game in the market. And the idea I'm sharing here, it is basically for an information purpose only, an education and information purpose. So I'm sharing the idea and you can take it if you like it. Or if you have something, uh, you know, different thoughts, you can add it on top of this and use that in a real estate market. So there is no rule that I you have to follow what I said. So you can, based on your skills, you can add up with this concept, ideas, and uh, play the game. So these are, uh, what are all the 10 secrets of uh, property flipping? So the first one is, it is basically a distress the sale. So mainly for a people who wanted to, uh, you know, sell the property in a quick time. For example, uh, one person, uh, you know, come to me and uh, they want to leave to abroad in a month time or two months time. They are currently owning a property in Bangalore. They want to sell it. So even they are ready to go below the market price also. They want to get rid of the property and travel abroad next month. So this is the one type of a property owner who want to sell quickly and okay, a little lesser, they are okay with that. So, so there is an investor who will look for this kind of property and invest on that and refurbish it. For example, some property may not be maintained well, refurbish it and sell it to the market price so that they see that the difference of margin will be higher. In the short three to four months only, they will, uh, investor generally, they look for a good uh, prime location, good property, some branded property so that they can flip quickly. So the idea behind that is a wealth creation. They can create wealth quick, faster. So before investing such this kind of uh, properties, you should set uh, the good uh, uh, financial goal. Why you want to invest this? So that you will be achieving, for example, here, I'm mentioning an example, achieving five to eight lakhs return on investment in four months time with the help of 50 lakh investment. He is having 50 lakhs in, in his bank account and he want to invest in a property and get the return five to eight lakhs in three to four months time. So this is the financial goal set and he is getting into this flipping property. So why do we need to do this? This is a, one of the diversification. So there are flat investment, plot investment, uh, managed farmland, commercial investment, real estate investment, trust investment, uh, commercial uh, crowdfunding, mutual fund, investment club. So I have put separate videos on this in my playlist. Watch for this more interested. It's not that I've been in invested in all these areas. So 
I have done a few. I purchased a plot, constructed, and uh, you know, apartment knowledge, good construction knowledge. And I'm not very good in the crowdfunding. So there are some, uh, but I discussing it because that is uh, one of the investment avenue with respect to real estate. So I given those ideas and examples so that you will also understand, try to use it. So whichever the idea comfortable to you, you can use it. If you are not comfortable, better avoid it. Some people are very good in mutual fund. So they leverage that, that uh, ideas and try to build on top of that. So like that, this flipping also one of the concept. That's the point I am discussing. And the risk also diversified. So you don't need to put all the money in managed form land or commercial investment. Then part of the fund, you can invest in this also and try to get a revenue out of it. And this needs a lot of uh, collaborative network and social media and the real estate portals, uh, listing the properties, the networking people, uh, and ethical practices. Uh, you know, you should uh, follow and connect with the team who does this uh, yeah. you know, help on, on, uh, on connecting people like buyers, sellers. So investors should have a good connection with these kind of uh, team so that they will help you and share the vital information which helps you to convert the deal. And avoid unbranded litigation properties or unapproved properties. Choose prime properties at prime location so that you can flip the property in a quick short term. And these revenues all are uh, short term capital gain. So whatever the revenue comes in, it will be part of the uh, uh, short term capital gain, you are liable to pay tax for that. I discussed separately what is the tax implication in a short and long term capital gain video. Please watch that so that you will understand better. And when you choose the property, you consult with the correct legal aspects and get the legally approved and then only you invest it. Don't try to invest something which is not properly verified and unbranded, some issue properties, better avoid such properties should be confident on, uh, you know, flipping that property in short time. So choose only prime and uh, good branded builder properties so that you can flip it faster. And have a clear uh, plan in mind and execute a formal agreement between seller and investor, which is you and uh, both should be clearly articulated their clauses and get it signed by both of them. And uh, this needs a uh, time. It is not that something like a nine to five job you go and uh, come back in the late evening and do it. It is not, that is not recommended. But uh, this needs a uh, time. You need to work uh, closely with the different, uh, you know, property dealers, consultants, so that you will get a vital information so that you can uh, flip the property faster. And here the loan is not uh, recommended and uh, not, loan is also not required. Mainly if you are a flipper, majority they try to switch the property between X to Y and you are like an investor just to for a sh short time. Then the buyer will pay the actual cost and take the property. So the loan is not recommended. This is pure play, the investment. You should have some fund in money. Suppose if you are not able to deal, you are not able to convert you should be ready to take that register the property. But that depends on the agreement clause. Suppose if you have a different way of taking back that uh, invested initial booking amount, you don't need that money. So that you should choose the right uh, uh, agreement clause and uh, the seller accordingly it will work. This strategy can be leveraged to commercial, industrial and agriculture properties also. So that depends on the skill level. If you have a good knowledge in a commercial property, why can't you can flip in commercial also? There is nothing wrong in that. So this uh, try to start with a small amount. And so once you get the comfortable in this and try to invest a bigger play and uh, risk your, uh, uh, cap your risks also. Don't try to invest large amount and try to struggle selling it. Smaller one, smaller size property can be easily saleable. You go to big size, thinking a big money, I will get it. Very difficult to get such kind of a buyer. So that is why generally we look for this flipping property is a smaller size. For example, if you are flipping the plot, which is a smaller size is 30, 40. 
usually we get the buyers for that very quickly. If you go for a 100 by 120 or 40 by 60 kind of a property size, this will take a longer time to convert the deal. So you should have a good risk mitigation plan. Suppose, uh, you know, real estate, suppose you are uh, facing some, some real estate downturn, economic downturn, political, uh, you know, uh, government collapsing. So if there are some issues, may come economical issues. So you should be ready to handle such cases like Corona. You maybe have made an agreement last week, this week, Corona announced. So you will, such uh, issues also, you should have a mitigation plan, taking the property on register and sell it after Corona, something like that. So you should have a clear mitigation plan in case any loss, to what extent I can make, I can take the loss. Should have that also in mind before getting into this kind of an investment. You should be ready to accept that loss in case if any loss. So then only you should start playing this game. So these are the critical points with respect to the property flipping. I am going to give an, an example with respect to the plot now. So Gopi is a seller who wants to sell his plot. So he is invested around 40 lakhs, you know, in a pre-launch, which is 30, 40 site in an Uttar project in a prime location in Bangalore three years ago. So, and he is selling due to some EMI problem. So he is traveling, uh, you know, other places. So he want to sell it. So the current market value of that plot is 58 lakhs. So he is okay to sell 50 lakhs. There are many sellers like this in the market because so many properties available. It is not that all the sellers will look for 58. I have seen many people coming to my office and uh, you know, flippers also coming to my office and saying that, is there any distressed seller who can give below the market price? You let me know such deals coming. So I am meeting them also and sharing information. They are doing business. Yes, they get some money. Sometimes, yes, every deal has certain challenges. They are ready to face it. So I refer some good property, branded ones, which is uh, litigation free. Because end of the day, you know, seller also should be happy and buyer also should be happy. So I refer the such properties also to flippers. So now she, so now the Gopi connected with a property consultant. He advertising into social media marketing. He is doing it, and online portals like Magic Bricks, housing, all the portals he is listing and sharing this information with the various other uh, agents. So they also sharing uh, this information and trying to connect with the, you know, the right investor. So, so he found an investor called Usha and uh, she is ready to invest in the plot and agrees to buy the property in cash for uh, 50 lakhs with the help of, uh, you know, property consultant. Okay. So now she has uh, two options. One is she can take this plot and register in her name and recent two to three years later uh, for a 70, 75 lakhs. So that is, a, it depends on her uh, financial capacity. If she has fund, yes, she can do this option also. If not, the second option, which is mostly preferred with respect to the flippers. So she pays a five lakhs to Gopi, which is seller, and buys a three to four months time uh, with a contract sign. So there is a Usha and Gopi, they make a contract saying that within three to four months, I will sell, uh, I, I will buy or sell this property uh, to another uh, person who agrees to pay whatever XM XM amount that, uh, you know, Usha don't need to reveal to Gopi. According to Gopi, she he wanted 50 lakhs of, for this plot. So she will give that 50 lakhs to Gopi and the deal is over. So after within that period of time, she found a person who is ready to buy that particular plot. So Usha sells that to Prem, I know for 58 to 60 lakhs, the deal is happened with the help of property consultant without registration and stamp duty payment. So what she does it is she found another buyer who can take this plot so that she does just a flipping from X to Y, which is go P to Prem is what happening. So she earns in this deal 10 lakhs in three to four months time. 
So each where she can pay easily one to three percent to brokerage fee to that consultant who helped this connecting, you know, buyer and the seller. So that uh, so that he also get benefited. So I've seen in Indian scenario many people they don't pay to that agents who worked, you know, who share the vital information. So I refer them to book uh, read a book called Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. He is the twenty five years best selling book in New York Times. So uh, please uh, listen his book. He is suggesting use the uh, you know property consultant, connect with them, pay them their charges. They share vital information to you. See, without this property consultant, this deal would not have happened. She will not get this 10 lakhs if she tries to go alone. So that is why you also should be flexible in paying them. Don't be stingy to pay to the consultants who work for you to connect to the buyer or a seller. So pay them whatever their charges. And uh, and it is a end of the day, it is a win-win-win for all three people. Suppose if she is not able to make that uh, sale within this three to four months, she can uh, convert that to, to her name also, like option one, whatever discussed. Majority of them, they will find another buyer and try to flip only. That is the main objective in doing this exercise. Option two is what they follow it. So here, uh, end of the day, if you look at all three are a win-win, so that all three people they got their money, they are happy. There is nothing that uh, you know someone uh, we are disappointed. Uh, so there is nothing like that. So there are some auction yeah. bank portal also available auction properties where the EMI is not able to pay. So there are some properties banks used. Uh, because of the uh, EMI default, we can see that they are mostly are uh, cash players. When you participate auction only, you should deposit some money and play on that auction properties. So if you have some good uh, connection in auction team or branch manager, talk to them and try to get more information, and try to participate in such deals, provided you should have a good amount of uh, cash in your bank account. So this is uh, one, whatever discussed is the plot one. So this is flat I am discussing here. With respect to the flat, small difference is there that I am discussing. So the Raj is a seller. He is invested 80 lakhs in a pre-launch 3 BHK flat in Shoba Daisy, prime location in Bangalore, five years ago. Now he want to sell it immediately. His uh, job laid off or uh, traveling abroad, so many reasons. So, so he is uh, the current market value of the flat is 1.6 ER since a prime location, the higher value. And he is okay to sell 1.32 because there are some maintenance issues in the flat. The property is not maintained well. There are a lot of C pages he rented out and went somewhere else and the tenant messed up. So, there is a lot of issues there in the flat, like kitchen counter, below sink, the C page water wet, uh, interior work, uh, so grouting work. Uh, so a lot of work is there. So, uh, you know, some money has to be invested. So they, he so he is approaching John, who is the property consultant, who is, uh, you know, uh, working in that area. He is marketing into various social media and uh, online total real estate portals like Magic Bricks, uh, you know, housing, other properties. He found a buyer called it. Rupa, who is ready to invest uh, in this uh, in this flat, so she agrees to pay whatever expected price one point three two with the help of a consultant, and she spends eight lakhs to fix the issues in the flat, which is seepage page issues, some interior issues, painting, deep cleaning, and after eight lakhs, the flat looks good now. So now she is ready to sell it. So now she has two options. One is to register on her name and later she can sell it to some 1.8 to 1.9 CR so that uh, uh, she can in two to three months time. So this is a 1.3 to CR. So two to three, two to three years, she can later also, she can sell it uh, uh, because there is some metro planning going on there. So because of that, she want to hold it on her name and she'll sell it later. During that time, you know, after two months, uh, she will register it. In two to three years, what to do with that property? So she can rent on also that property. And with the help of a property manager who manages the property, 
and collect the rent and credit in here at all. So that option also available. So appreciation plus the rent amount. So both she will get it if she chose this option. But a majority of people on the flipper, uh, the second option they choose. So what she does it is uh, she pays the 10 lakhs to Raj and making an agreement that three to four months, I will sell you a property and I'll settle your due, which is 1.32 lakh, 3 to CR. So then Rupa sells that to Soam. So with the help of a consultant, a consultant connected Soam with Rupa and agreed to sell the property for 1.6 ER. So in this, she agreed to pay 1.32 to the seller and 8 lakhs she spent. So total 140 spent and, and 1.6 ER is what agreed price. So in this entire thing, she is not paying any, any stamp duty also. So she gets 20 lakhs as a return in three to four months time. And she pays some good brokerage amount to a dealer also, property dealer. And uh, he helps to do the registration on the name of Soap. So that she is just a flipping the property from Raj to Soap. That much only this Rupa does it as an investor. So she gets 20 lakhs on this deal. So if sale is not happening the same way, like option one, she will be registering it and later she sells it, but majority two. So the thing is that if you want to take back the 10 lakhs, that contract which happens with Raj has to be clearly articulated. Articulated. Suppose within this three to four months, not possible, what is to do? So some owners will say that I deduct two lakhs from this 10 lakhs and pay eight lakhs to, uh, you know, investor. So that also there. So that depends on seller, what the clause he wanted it. They put into this contract and execute between Rupa and Raj. So that this contract clearly articulated what is the exit strategy. So that in this, if she able to flip that property, she earns 20 lakhs in three to four months time. So that is the idea behind this concept. I hope you understand uh, the concept. Uh, so if you are comfortable, just try to invest a smaller amount. You should have some sufficient time, connect with that good network people to find a seller, buyer, should not do that alone. You need a team to do this kind of uh, investment. So in this end of the day, all three are a win-win so that uh, nobody loser here. So, and bank portal also available, properties are available auction properties you can see in the bank uh, auction portal site also. So that is the idea behind the flipping. And this is our vision, mission, what we do. Uh, we do property management, uh, mainly for NRI traveling guys, remote owners, and our values, real estate services. We have a very good uh, working model in South Bangalore and we want to scale it to other locations. So we are working on that. We will update on that uh, more in our social media. So this is our service catalog, just uh, self-explanatory, easily uh, understandable. If anything more detail you wanted, please connect with us. We will help you. This is the book I'm writing where uh, I'm capturing these, all the information uh, discussed investment avenue into the book. And so that this gives some value to the readers. Thank you for watching. I hope uh, this gives some basic idea about uh, property flipping. Any help required with respect to this, uh, please connect with us. Uh, we will help you on this topic. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.